today is a celebration actually. <laughs> And what we're celebrating today is 100 subscribers. I've only been doing this vlog for like two months and you guys have showed up. I know that most of my subscribers, subscribers are just family and friends and that is okay with me. You guys are the best. I love you guys. And this video is for you. I like it. What about you? What would you like to accomplish for the new year? I just thank you guys so much and thank you for being a part of my vlog and being there for me because I know most importantly you do it just to support me because you love me and care for me and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart I honestly and truly do so today we're gonna start something new I think I'm gonna call it spiritual principle Sunday and hopefully I can record the vlog and get it out on Sunday but we'll see before I do that I have to run a few errands. You want to go with me? Let's go. So before we start this new segment I had in mind, I want to say that vlogging for me has been more than just doing something to do it. I guess the motivation part is, is that like I had the desire to want to do something and I just started. Just just said, hey, I want to do this, and I went after it. So I guess my, hang on. Much better. These are my cheap, very cheap Bailey's gas station glasses. I go with cheap glasses because I always break them. So my motivation to you is, is that if there's something out there that you want to do or you want to try and haven't done it before, like for me, video editing, um, making these vlogs, maybe you want to play an instrument or learn how to sing or dance or, or jujitsu, <laughs> right? If you want to do any of these things, just go for it. What do you got to lose? <laughs> Never let anybody tell you you can't do something, because you can. see that she turned in the wrong way she was literally driving down the opposite side of the street made it 
So what I'm really doing is I'm about to about to buy some supplies that you just seen for that party that I threw like I don't know a minute or two ago in this vlog. So the place I came to was make believe. Is it? It's called make believe. It's a costume party place. It's pretty cool in here. This one kind of looks like my buddy Richmond. So, we got all the stuff we need for the party we already had. <laughs> Time to take it back to the house and go over spiritual first segment ever of Spiritual Principle Sunday. So we're gonna head to the house. I think first I'm going to I won a hundred dollars. Ooh, there it is. On this scratch off. So we go cash this in. Some extra money. All right, so which one you want, Jay? Which one? You want a Monopoly, a Gold Rush? Let's do a Gold Rush. How did gold you say that? Gold Rush. <laughs> oh. Gotta roll the R. Rush. <laughs> Come on, hey. bring that money, baby. Bring that money, baby. Ooh. There we go. There we awesome. go. Cash Thank out. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so today's spiritual principle is perseverance. Perseverance, persistent in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. And the only thing I can do really is share on my experience with perseverance. I have persevered to the tenth power. Uh, by any let's say that I have not lived a normal life you know I grew up really poor I grew up in a really tough environment I grew up without my parents um, they both died when I was very young I you know started partying way too much and ended up getting myself in trouble and wreaking all kinds of havoc with family and friends and loved ones and by all standards I shouldn't be where I am today by all standards I should probably be in jail or maybe even dead you know and so you could say that I've persevered through a lot I don't really know where it comes from. I know that like when I'm faced with an obstacle, when I'm faced with something difficult, when I'm when I'm faced with a hurdle to make it over, then I just I have this yearning desire to want to complete, to want to defeat, to want to get past it, to want to move to the next level, and I just do whatever it takes for me to get there. You know, when I first became a nurse and I took my nursing boards, I felt the test. I felt it. Um, which was heartbreaking. It was devastating. I, oh my God, I still remember like when I checked the computer and then, you know, I seen that I failed and my heart just sank. And, and it was because that I put all this work in and throughout school, throughout after school studying, and I took the test and I just didn't think that, you know, after I took it and I realized I failed, I, it was just devastating. So, Despite failing, right? Despite not passing the first time, I recommitted myself. I recommitted. I set a study plan. I literally had every hour on the day scheduled out what I was going to do. You know, study from 9 to 10, 10 to 11, you know, 10 to 
10.30, take a little break. You know, study until 12. Uh, take a lunch break. Watch a little TV. Go back to studying for the rest. I literally had every hour scheduled out today because I wanted to persevere. I wanted to complete. I wanted to get past it. And so it's not something that comes easy. You know, if anything worth achieving, they say it doesn't come easy. And it sounds corny and it sounds cliche but it's absolutely true. If I have a difficult task, I definitely don't shy away from it. I, I tackle it. <laughs>